five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. That's it for me. Good night, everybody. Now, we got a whole show to do until midnight Eastern Daylight Time, and uh, we got a lot of things to do, so let's do them. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me see here. Let me see how we do this. We just, I uh, guess we'll just start dialing uh, our friends here. And wait. It's ready to ring. It's saying it's going to ring. There we go. There we are. Okay. Let's see if he's there. Okay. All right. Hey, look, man, when we see Paul Moria in the orchestra tonight, stay out of the mosh pit. It gets fucking crazy in there. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you, if he doesn't do Love is Blue, there's going to be a fucking riot. I swear to God. They're going to tear the city down. <laughs> you may have to explain that one. I don't explain nothing to no one. You either get it or you don't. See, I don't like it taking up the arches. Johnny Rocco's coming back. Let's see, it wasn't a Sinatra reference, was it? No. It's a Paul Moriad reference. Paul Moriad? Jeez. He, he... <laughs> I had a 1968 flashback. Love is Blue, number one for three months on the radio, man. <laughs> Paul Marriott. Yeah, he was. <laughs> this is Stephen Pearl, by the way. He's crazy. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, boy, yeah, that uh, I uh, that took uh, that uh, took some thinking. But Paul Marriott, <laughs> I remember. I just thought I just had a seventh grade flashback. And didn't I you do one other? Paul didn't... Marriott reference. Love is something. What was the song? Love is blue. C'est la bleu. Mm. Okay, that was the song. All right. Okay. That was it, yeah. Well, that's it. Thank you so much, Stephen. Good talking to you Thank again. you. Thank you. Talk to you in six months. Good night, everybody. Oh, Ooh, boy. big night for party at Corey Feldman's. No, oh, boy. Corey Feldman. I spent an evening with Corey Feldman's father once. Oh, my God. Was he as damaged as his son? Well, what what happened was it was one of Stranger Nights in my life uh, that started out with me having dinner at Spago's mm -hmm. with Al Goldstein. Oh, Mr. Screw Magazine. And I invited some woman with me. I can't remember who she was, but uh, just to come along with me as a date. And mm -hmm. Would you like dinner at Spago? Sure. And we're there, and across the room is uh, is Tony Curtis. And Tony Yikes. comes over to see Al Goldstein, and then he starts hitting on my date. <laughs> Bernie, you bastard. Yeah, yeah, which I reminded him of years later when I interviewed him. I said, you you, uh, you hit on my date, and he said, well, if I had to do it again, I probably would. You know? Look out, Tony, you rat. Anyway, so that was the, uh, the but <laughs> what the, that wasn't the best part of it. So uh, Ron Jeremy was there. So afterwards, <laughs> afterwards, Ron says, uh, would you like to just join me? I'm going over to Corey Feldman's father's place. Oh, Lord. And so we went over to Corey Feldman's father's place. Now, talk uh -huh. about being remote from any possible big-time show business. It's not that Corey Feldman isn't far away from big-time show business, but how yeah. far away is his father? Look out. <laughs> and so we went over there. Uh, oh, there you go. Uh, beyond and that, I don't, I don't remember a thing. Okay, and I know, we, I know okay. we... Maybe we, you're lucky. I know we wound up seeing the Rocky horror picture show in Pasadena with an all porn audience. These oh, were all Lord. porn actors <laughs> who would do this cosplay on like uh, Saturday nights with Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh huh. Yeah. So anyway. the, whole gang, the whole gang was there. Yeah. The whole gang was there. So anyway. There you, go. <laughs> you know, I've got to turn on my air conditioner here. You're going to hear it a little bit because... Well, that's no problem. It's getting, it's getting hot. It's, hey, we're in Vegas here so it's, it's any day it'll be 150 in the shade. But there we go. It, is it starting? Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's starting. Uh, that's why I feel like it's a hot point air conditioner. Yeah, for because it gets it gets steamy in this studio, you know. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm sure. Well, it's in New York, it gets it's steamy, steamy today, and the temperature is only like 67, but it's humid today. 
Oh, yeah, humidity. I hate humidity. We don't have not haven't felt that since I've been back east. Yeah. So how's everything in, uh, I always ask this, how's everything in Vegas? Everything's swinging. Me and Tony are romping all over the place, singing and swinging and rocking for you. Everything's good. You know, it's, uh, I did a last second gig last night, which was nice. I was sitting home doing nothing. I got a phone call. I'd like to come here and perform. I go, yes, I will. So I did that, and I, uh, you know, she called the bowl out, and uh, I go to the Tropicana any weekend and see old friends and blah, blah, blah. So it's nice to be here. Yeah, but I, I go mean, to the gym almost every day. I, I've never been healthier than when I moved to Las Vegas. Yeah, well, you're healthy. Uh, you're working. Okay. Yep. Uh, which is amazing. You, you didn't think that was yeah, going to happen. Yeah, the fact that I was ever working is amazing. <laughs> no, but, but I mean, you didn't think that when you left San Francisco to go to Vegas that you'd find much work, did you? <clears throat> no, I thought I'd, I'll showcase it a few places and see what happens. I didn't think I'd be working as much, but, uh, you yeah. know, but yeah. it, it seems to be working out pretty nicely so far. So maybe they'll get tired of me next month. You never know. Oh, you know, I could, I could uh, fall out of favor like the Peppermint Twist did at one time, but... Uh, so far, things are nice, and I'm making lots of friends and getting along with the kids. Everybody's playing fair, so it's a lot of fun here. Wow, that's great. That's terrific. And, it, and it's one the other night. I got this happened before. I wake up at 3 in the morning. I can't get back to sleep, so I go to the gym, and I do a little workout because it's 24 hours. And if I still have nothing to do, I'll go to the dispensary because they're 24 hours and pick up a little something. First, we break out, then we buy a little something. Yeah. But it's a 24-hour time, so if you want to you destroy yourself, you can do that. If you want to get healthy, you can do that. It's just, it's, I like it here. Yeah, but you're not in the, you're not in this destructive mood, so. No, that does no, not really. No, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, I once I once shot up some licamade once, but uh, yeah. You shot up some licamade, boy. Are they, <laughs> can you get any more obscure in your references? <laughs> At this age, I don't care anymore. I remember if one person that, out there gets it. I, I, I'm, well, I'm, su- I'm surprised you even remember licamade. Okay. Oh, of course, man. That's what got us into the hardy drugs later on. Mm-hmm. Liquor made they had those straws full of powder that you would eat when you were a kid. Well, no, and, actually, uh, it used to come in a pack, a little yeah. package. Liquor made came in a pack, but there was you all see these and straws. And then you would that take it, like and you would, in it. you would put it in the palm of your hand, and then you would lick it. Am I right? Yep, you lick it out. Liquor made. Yeah, it wasn't, it's like, it, it wasn't really, you couldn't make like an aid with it. You couldn't <laughs> add water to it. <laughs> It was like a powdered sweet tart or something. But what you would do is you would literally lick it, and I guess your own saliva made it into some kind of beverage. It turned it into a wet powder. <laughs> you ate it, and, and then you go, okay, that was some good licking. And, and, and then you palm wa- was red or green yeah, or whatever. Yeah, you're walking around for the rest of the day with a colored palm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boy. That's right. People thought you were jerking off too hard or something. How come you got a red palm? Who are you thinking about? You know the ones that lasted for a long time. When I think about those kind of <laughs> those kind of uh, uh, pasts, as it were, uh, were those yep. those uh, uh, wax tubes full of some kind of liquid. Remember? Yep. And then you would just bite the top off of it and suck the liquid down. Yeah, it was a little wax bottle, a little, a little yeah. wax. Yeah, and then what you had the top off, some people would chew it, and then you just drink the crap inside, and you go, "Bye." Were, were, were you supposed to chew the wax? Was that the deal? I knew some people who did, but I've never been into gum or chewing or anything yeah. like that. So yeah, because all I know, all I know, right is it, at the height of summer, because kids bought these a lot when I was a kid. Uh-huh. You would find all these these melted wax things on the sidewalk. <laughs> You know, and and yep. usually the big ones didn't even come in the shape of a bottle. They just came in the shape of a tube. And then you bit uh, the, I don't remember the, I remember the little bottles that the, were there. Then you, you could either bit the top of the tube off, or you could kind of bite down slowly towards the end and squeeze it out. Uh-huh. And you had this, who knows what was in that liquid, you know. Well, nothing, nothing good for you. I, I guarantee you, like, it wasn't fruit juice. It wasn't fruit juice. Right, exactly. So, you know. Was about 20 years ago, they had this uh, Lifesaver pineapple soda, and it had the label look like the Lifesaver thing with little ring, colored rings around it. And it tasted amazing if you like pineapple juice. But nowhere on the ingredients did the word pineapple appear. So they stopped making it, but it was good. Wow. Wow. And I don't know what was in it, but it was like the best phony artificial flavoring I ever had in my life. And uh, <laughs> but no pineapple there. I don't know what was in it, but it tasted good. It tasted good. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's all that matters. 
What else? What else? When you were a kid, what what kind of candy was your big deal? We had the Licka Maid. Uh, I was talking about the Licka Maid. We had uh, there were sweet tarts. Bite them for a burst of flavor. And there was uh, there was uh, I don't remember uh, was it a black cow or a brown cow? It was some kind of chocolate lollipop that you could lick and chew for hours and it never went away. Okay, I got that one. That was from Holloway's. They made milk thud. Do you remember the uh, the dots on a piece of paper? Oh, the little button candy, sure. Yeah, and then you would like bite them off of there, but the some of the yep. some of the paper would stick to the bottom of the thing. Yeah, yeah, you got the paper in your time. That was the roughage that helped them come out. By, later. Yeah, by the time you were through, you had paper mache in your stomach. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you crap out a newspaper. The people, you don't remember these, do you? Who are listening? Uh, no, I'm, I'm from the early '60s, so let uh, me see I was born here. at the end of '55. So this this is. This was in my time. We'd buy baseball cards and monster cards and Octavian cards and eat this garbage candy, and that was a good life. Well, I got one you never. I got one you never heard of. Okay, because this was, I think, only in the Bay Area, because a lot of times, uh, certain, especially ice creams, things like that, were just to a certain area because they were done by a local dairy, and we had a thing called Chochos. They were my favorites. Chochos. Chochos, and they came in a cup, uh, and it had a stick in it. Okay, and then um, uh, you would like rub the cup, roll it between your hands because your hands were warm, and it would then release the cup from the chocho, which you then ate like a like a uh, like a, a ice cream bar. Yikes! Okay, and it was malted milk, and it was called chochos, and I love chochos. Oh, I love malted milk. <laughs> yeah. I love Chochos. Yeah, my yeah. God, I wish they'd make them again. Is malted milk a big deal anymore? Well, I, they have those uh, whoppers that are malted milk balls, and uh, I try to stay away from the sweets these days, but I love malted milk balls. Yeah. I absolutely love them. I can't get enough malted milk balls. Uh, they still so, make they still make yeah. whoppers, I guess. Yeah, they're big with me, but I don't know how the rest of the world feels. I about mean, can them. you go to a can you? Does anybody go to a, a soda shop anymore and order a malt? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the time machine go back to nineteen fifty six, maybe. But because they used to call, it. they used to call those places. They didn't call them soda shops; they called them malt shops. The malt shop, that's right. Yeah, I love malt. Yeah, we had uh, we had Greasy Harry's in my neighborhood. Greasy Harry's. Greasy Harry, we called it Greasy Harry's. We will have a little Coca Cola sign outside, and you can get your sodas and your malteds and your French fries and. Uh. Across the street was Schmieder's Candy Store. Well, you're, which I think you're is from, either a methadone clinic or a clown college now. It might be both. You're from New York, so you knew this when you were a kid. I had to move to New York in order to suddenly appreciate the art of it all. Mm-hmm. But uh, the uh, what we're talking about here, folks, are um, 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 uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh God, my mind's a blank. Um, oh, hello. Um, uh, you okay, Grandpa? Are we still in the will? Hello, what's the pin number? Seltzer and chocolate and milk. What is it? It's an egg cream. An egg cream, of course. Egg cream. Y- yeah, still it's, it's an egg you cream. Go to New York to get them. But... Well, the best place to get them in New York what used to be the Gem Spa uh-huh. uh, down in the down in the East Village, down in. Uh, <clears throat> Eighth uh, Street and uh, maybe Second Avenue, wherever it was, right? It was that right down the street from the from the Fillmore Auditorium, and they had yeah. this thing called the Gem Spa, and they you would go in there and get an egg cream, and it was Damn. the best. They they claimed, and everybody pretty much agreed, the best egg cream in New York, and it oh, had like something that. to do with them reusing a spoon over and over again until there was no, until uh, uh, there were nothing but ah. germs in your in your egg cream. <laughs> But do you know okay. how it, you, you know you know what how it got the name egg cream? I don't know. I'm thinking, are there eggs in it? I've never seen an egg in it. Never, egg never an egg in it. It is uh, in case people don't know. It you add uh, you put you, first you put in some chocolate milk, uh, chocolate mm-hmm. uh, syrup rather. Then you put mm-hmm. in a d- bunch of milk. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, about a third of the glass is milk, and then you mm-hmm. add seltzer for the rest of it, and then you mix right. it up. Okay, and that's an egg cream. So where's the egg? Egg cream. Here's what happened. It was invented in Brooklyn, and uh, this guy called it not an egg cream. He called it an a creme. That means with with cream. And kids, as they were in Brooklyn, bastardized a creme into egg cream. 
No, I get it. I get it. And that's how it became an egg cream. But everybody says, hey, why do they call them egg cream? There's no egg in here. Of course. No egg. Don't Never. buy any eggs. You want to make an egg cream. There was buy an... salsa. Hmm? Buy salsa. Don't get an egg. Right. So there was no yeah. there was no egg in an egg cream. So that, nope. that, yeah. there you go. So what else did you like? Anything else? Oh, let's see. There would be... Uh... There were these, uh, what were they? They had these ice cream pops with a little chocolate bar in the middle. And I remember the chocolate on that chocolate bar. I don't know if this is good humor or you bought in the store. It was the best chocolate I've ever had in my life. And they don't, I don't know if I've never seen one since like, in like 40 years, but uh, maybe longer. Well, do you remember? But it was like just a regular yeah. chocolate on the outside, vanilla ice cream on the inside. In the middle of that, there was like this delicious chocolate candy bar type thing. And it was, <laughs> it was for the and you don't, re- you don't remember the name of it. No, I don't. I wish I did. I don't know if it was a good humor thing or if you got it. I don't remember if you got it in the store or where, but uh, I had a lot of them, and they were good. Well, you know, there was a time when in in uh, in uh, uh, in this country where every area you went to had their own thing. They didn't travel yeah. like. Uh, I'll give you a good example. Uh, what was the bread? Uh, that was had two different names. It had one in, in California. It was Langendorf bread. Langendorf. And, no, and then here in New York, it had a different name. Uh, no, it was Kilpatrick's bread in California, and here it was something uh-huh. else. But it was the same exact loaf. It was the same exact logos and things like that, except the name was different. And it was because uh, these things were assigned to various bakeries, and in California, it was the Kilpatrick bakery that did it. Uh-huh. But anyway, yep. they, they would always have things that you could get in one area, but you couldn't get in another area, so that when somebody, you heard your your uh, aunt was coming from New York, <laughs> they say, you want me to bring anything? You oh, would yeah, tell so. them something you couldn't get in California. Yeah. And my uncle, when he used to come out here, always used to bring with him Barton's Chocolates. Do you remember Barton's Chocolates? Oh, sure. I remember Barton's Chocolates, sure. Yeah, because we considered them the best chocolates we ever ate. You yeah, know. good chocolate. And he would bring it, and we would eat them like they were a delicacy. Oh, you can only have one uh, tonight. You can only have one. we got to make it last. You know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and like they, a poor, poor they, family with one potato. <laughs> they were these chocolates in a box, and they were, you know, very good. I don't know if they still make them. I haven't heard of Barton's Chocolates in years. I don't know. I haven't heard the name in quite a while. Yeah. But I remember when somebody would be coming out from New York to California or to anywhere else. Bring some ring dings. Bring, bring some, bring some devil dogs. A lot of devil dogs. Do, bring some yodels. Devil dogs. Do you, we didn't have devil dogs in California, I don't think. No, man. Here in New York, they bring a box of devil dogs. I'll pay you. I'll kill three enemies of your choice. Bring out some devil dogs. Mmm, they were good. Oh, oh devil dogs. Be delicious. Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. I, I'm, I just looked up uh, a chocolate... Uh, well, there was a Barton's Chocolate Recall, it says here. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> well, that's close. Barton's they Chocolate make them, kill for <laughs> Passover. <laughs> Barton's, they, 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 sti- on, they, on still, they still make Barton's Chocolates, and you can get them on Amazon. There you go. You can get anything you want. Yeah, How about that? yeah. You see, I mean, what was once a delicacy, del- <laughs> delicacy for us, all of a sudden it becomes uh, like, you know, Barton's chocolate is uh, available on Amazon. There you go. Oh well, I, and I bet it might I, be left over from 1952, but they still have a warehouse full of them. If, <laughs> if I bought the chocolate, it probably it wouldn't taste as good as it used to. Just, yeah, just that's because true. You grow it, up in that. Well, because I didn't have to wait for it to come from New York. You know. Uh-huh. Yeah. So anyway, any other little treat you remember as a kid? Yeah, <laughs> I loved. I remember Devil Dogs, Ring Ding, the Drake's Cakes just blew me away. I still like, I hardly eat them anymore, but I like those Hostess cupcakes, the, the yellow ones. Those are good. Uh, well, yeah, but you know, uh, uh, oh, you mean the uh, the uh, the ones that uh, look like a little uh, Twinkies is what you're talking about. Yeah, remember the whole cupcakes, the little squiggly thing down the... Oh, down the, the oh you're talking about the Hostess so, cupcake. Okay. It had, yeah, it, I like the little yellow ones, and you know, oh, the uh, color ones are good, but I like the yellow ones a lot. Was there a and yellow Mike one? Mike Pence said, I believe the squiggly line down the Hostess cupcake is gay. I intend to make it straight, but that's another story. Yeah, but I mean, I don't, I don't understand, because I, um, uh, uh, the only Hostess cupcakes I ever saw were chocolate. Oh, they got the yellow ones. You can get them in California, and I believe you can get them in New York. I, used to, I grew up in New York, and I ate enough of them. Wow. 
Okay. I'll have try, try it in sometime. Next time we see it. A non chocolate hostess cupcake. Got to have the squiggly line down the middle. That means it's hostess. And yeah. try one of those. You might love it. You might not. I don't know. Now, to me, the only yellow hostess product I remember was Twinkies. I think Twinkies was made by hostess. Oh yeah, I think oh, yeah. Twinkies. Everyone knew Twinkies. They were like the and those will drive you, headliner. Those will drive you crazy and make you kill a mare. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I only had a few of them, and I took a shot at the dog catcher the other day. Yeah, right. Exactly. Twinkies. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. Were there any other little treats that I enjoyed? I remember in. <laughs> I remember in I soda. Like in soda. I never a gum fan. In soda, there was a thing in California called. Uh, uh, well, there's a thing in Nevada called Nesbits of California, which I could uh, never find in California. But my mm-hmm. father used to play Reno every summer at the Mapes Hotel, and it, uh, everywhere we went was Nesbits Orange Soda, uh, Nesbits oh, of California. And uh, I love Nesbits. That was yeah. just the best. <laughs> that was the best. So here's a good question hey. for you. Did you ever smoke cigarettes? Oh, did I, I smoked for 38 years. Are you kidding? I only quit 10 years ago. Okay, so my question to you is, what was the first brand you ever smoked? Tarryton. Because Tar- the all the kids smoked them. And then I switched. To wait, 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 wait hold on cool a second. Kids smoking Newport. That was such a homosexual type cigarette, the uh, Tarryton's. Really? I didn't know that. It's a cigarette of choreographers everywhere. Yeah, I mean, so, it just, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I remember my mother smoked Tarryton's. <laughs> I thought the Virginia Slims and the uh, what was it the L and M's were kind of gay. L was kind of gay. M was straight, but yeah. Yeah, but but Terratons were just really strange cigarettes. I never smoked yeah. Terratons. I started with Newports. Newports. All right. Yeah. That was my second brand. And I was so into smoking Newports that I I I <laughs> I did it thematically. I bought the cigarettes, but I also got myself a Newport lighter. Whoa, you went all the way. You needed a Newport hat and Newport socks. Look at me. Newport I'm smoking now. I'm go. I'm smoking Newports. They were menthol. Uh, yeah, and, and very extreme. It's like smoking a pack of certs. It's extremely menthol. If you were a pussy and you started smoking, you started smoking with menthol. Because that, yeah. you know, that was a... <laughs> but after a while, I began to say, why am I doing fucking menthol? Jesus, this is, you know. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I then switched over to, <clears throat> I was a manly man, Marlboro's. Marlboro's, the cowboy cigarette. And I, I, for a short time, then they went to the, Marlboro's were a sm- smaller cigarette, and all of a sudden Pell-Mell came out with Pell-Mell Gold, which was a longer, thinner uh, cigarette. Like, you remember? And yep, so, sure. so I started smoking those because they were longer. And then I remember I'll, the commercial, the seven minute cigarette, it lasts longer, Pell Mell Gold 100s. I remember you, the jingle. Really? I don't even remember yep. that jingle. Wow. Yep. The guy smoking a cigarette, don't worry, it'll go for seven minutes. And then they sing the song, and everybody went out and bought their Pell Mell Gold. Wow. So, anyway, so then the, the, after that, since I got used to the long cigarettes, I came to New York, and they had this brand called Sherman Cigarettellos. Oh, yeah, it would take an hour and a half to smoke one. <laughs> yeah, well, they kept going out because they didn't have saltpeter in them. Mm-hmm. And I think that may have saved my life. You know, a lot yeah. of people say that the cancers that we talk about today weren't from the cigarette, the, the tobacco itself, but from yeah. all the additives they threw in there. Oh, sure. And, and sure. saltpeter was added to cigarettes to make them burn slower. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> and they burn slower. And uh, they also probably coated your lung with something. And, uh, exactly. I, you know. <laughs> I'm still alive to tell so, about it. So Sherman's had no additives. So to begin with, they kept going out. And because they had yeah. no additives, I think maybe that helped save my life. Oh, but I, oh, I, I, smoked, I smoked only for 20 years. Okay. So my question well, is 38. to you, with your 38, how did you quit? Uh, it was time, and I had gotten out of L.A., and I, I didn't which I, mean, I didn't care if I lived or died, and then I just said, it's time to stop smoking. I took Santex, which I had done before, and I cut down a lot, but uh, I didn't quit. But this time I said, I'm going to quit, and I just had to put in my mind, I'm not going to smoke anymore, and I just I took the Santex, 
And uh, I didn't do it. I just stopped smoking. I don't know how I did it, but I stopped. I have an, this October 16th, if I make it, will be 10 years. What I did is I didn't say I was going to quit. I said I was going to see how long I could go without a cigarette. Uh-huh. And that didn't put a wall in front of me. And yeah, I did some, uh, there was a, a Bantron, I think, was a, a substitute for nicotine. And I uh-huh. took some of those for a couple of days, and that made it easier. And then eventually, after about a week, I said, well, I put up with this for a week. Let's see if I can go for two weeks. And before I knew it, it's now, you know, what, almost uh, 40 years since I quit. Wow. You know, yeah, so. you quit in 80, I remember when you quit in 82. I quit on the air. Because yeah. Somebody gave, me a, somebody gave me a breathing test, and I, and I didn't pass it. And I said, Uh-oh, well, I said I would quit when I saw that it was affecting me. And it was affecting okay. me. Hey, I just that looked at sense. the clock. Guess what? What? It, it's time for us to say goodbye. Hey, we just said hello. What's going on here? I'm so glad. I'm so glad we had this time together. Why don't we see you again in a couple of weeks? How's that? Let's do it. Let's do it. Two well, weeks from today is the twelfth. If you want to do it then. Uh, lady, well, from maybe not when the ship when this is running, but uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, Oops, I shouldn't have said that. Today is the the yes, of February. 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 Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the musical stylings of Stephen Pearl. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you very much. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ah, yeah, okay. Thank you very much, Stephen. Uh, it's Stephen Pearl, and uh, he takes up a half hour of our show every now and then, which helps me do absolutely nothing. Hi, how are you? Let me turn on the... Uh, the Skype lines. I hope everybody calls tonight, and we get a ton of calls because uh, then I don't have to uh, talk. Uh, oh boy, I can't. I can, just can't tell you what a horrible day it's been. You know, I. I it seems like I'm always sick now with one thing or another, and uh, that's beginning to bother me. Okay, but in this particular case, what it was was. Um, Last night after the show, uh, I went into the refrigerator. I hadn't eaten dinner. And I went into the refrigerator, and there was still some of this chicken salad left over from Costco. And I had forgotten that I bought it like a week and a half before, so I ate it. And in the middle of the night, uh, I took, I took a uh, Xanax, so I knocked myself out. So I'd really have to go to sleep, okay? And... <laughs> And uh, I, uh, oh, it was terrible. I, uh, I, in the middle of the night, so it put me out. But then in the middle of the night, I woke up with a roaring stomach ache. Okay? And so now I go to the can and I get rid of what's ever in my stomach. And I go back to bed and it's, I still got this raging stomach ache. So then I'm, I'm trying to get out of me whatever is in me that is causing this. And it's not coming out. And I was up uh, for many hours while still zonked out on Xanax. And I think it was caused by this, uh, this chicken salad. I should, should have never done the chicken salad. Um, and so I am somewhat on the tired side tonight. Let's see here. Who we got? Oh, we got Josh is calling. Uh, 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 Josh Wheeler. Let me see here, Josh. Let me give you a, a spot in our uh, uh, in our group here immediately. Uh, there we go. Okay, and then I uh, do this, and uh, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. It's Josh Wheeler. How you doing, Josh? Doing good. How you doing? Oh uh, well, you know, I had a I had a bad stomach ache all day, so. That's not good. Yeah, it, 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 well, it, it never, never, it, I guess the, the rule of thumb is that you should eat, not eat stuff from Costco that's older than about a half a week. Okay. That's a good rule. Uh, and I didn't, uh, I didn't do that rule. And uh, <laughs> let me see here. Oh, there we go. There's Phil. Phil, Phil already has a, already has a space, actually. Yeah, that he's, that he's taken up here. It's so. the one between my ears. And if Charlie Wallace were to call, I wouldn't have to do anything because that's his space up there. So, oh. yeah. yeah. 
So, so, it, uh, so my stomach has been bothering me so badly that at some point during the show, I may have to go in the other room and use the bathroom, in which case you're, you guys are on your own. <laughs> All right. Hey, yeah. uh, so, uh, you know, since uh, Pearl moved to Las Vegas, yeah. between the two of you, you guys seem to be bad influences on the kids that listen to the show, talking about cigarette smoking and mentholated cigarettes and uh well, this is all stuff we quit though well you know but it's a bad influence all the kids you know that that can be influenced that listen to this yeah uh you know you, you gotta you gotta you know have a little bit more of uh, a social conscience oh, oh really <laughs> yeah M must have a social conscience huh yeah i see uh, okay yeah all right yeah Anyway, uh, so, um, uh, well, we, we both quit. I quit. Yeah. He quit. Yeah. And we talked about how bad cigarettes are for you. So, you know, yeah. outside of it, if you're listening, kids, so i got to tell you the great thing about cigarettes, and, and uh, I, I think it's important that I make note of this. The swag? No. <laughs> um, uh, the great thing about cigarettes is they make oh. you look real cool. Okay. So... Oh. Oh. <laughs> If you want to smoke, yeah. it makes you look real cool. Well, my uh, my buddy's going to Cuba for three weeks. Uh, also, uh, I have itchy eyes, too. You notice yeah. that, folks? Yeah. Anyway, well, go it's, ahead. That, that's due to the cigarettes. They dry out your eyes. Hey, uh, so this uh, friend of mine's going to Cuba for three weeks, mm -hmm. and, he sa and he says, uh, uh, he, he puts out a post, and he says, what should I bring? You know, what, what do you have to bring to Cuba if you, if you had nothing else? Yeah. So I said, a good uh, cigar. And a good uh, a cigar cutter and a good lighter, <laughs> you know. He was really? looking for lenses and yeah. photography stuff. I, I wish I could put this up, but I don't have a space to do it on my thing here. But yeah. uh, Albert just sent me a picture of uh, the general manager of WPLJ. Yeah. The head of the uh, of of uh, oh. the uh, uh, Rick uh, Rick Shaw, who was the um, uh, Alan Shaw, who was the uh, head of the of the FM network, okay. Mm -hmm. Then some guy I can't remember, and then uh, 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 Ronnie, mm -hmm. me, uh, Pete. What was his last name? Uh, he was uh, he was he worked for Alan Klein, and then John and Yoko. Wow! And it's in full color, and I've never had this picture before. <laughs> So, uh, I, so is this something they put up at the uh, yeah. at the event? Yeah. I, no, they didn't put it up at the event, but somebody, I guess, sent it to Albert because it says, don't know if you have this, but just saw it as referenced by someone from PLJ years back. So, Oh, uh, it, it wasn't guests at the, at the uh, party uh, and John and Yoko showed up. No, no, no. This was <laughs> it wasn't the live thing. <laughs> this was John and Yoko oh, at the nice. same table where the other picture was taken. Uh, no, mm -hmm. actually, this was maybe maybe that's where it was taken. I can't remember where it was taken. Yeah, oh. I think some conference room at ABC. But all these people wanted their picture taken, and there's the general manager of WPLJ. His name was oh, but he was a great guy too. I can't remember his name, Italian name, and he's yeah. really a great guy, just a terrific yeah. guy. Um, well, that's nice that, uh, you know, he, uh, obviously they sent it to him because they knew of his connection with you. No. No? No, they, uh, it was a, a something that uh, showed up from WPLJ. And right. He, he was at WPLJ. Oh. It was of interest to him because of WPLJ. I see. Yeah. All right. But uh, I have to send this to Ronnie because I don't mm -hmm. think she's ever seen this picture. Yeah. Uh, can yeah. you put it up? Well, I can put it up. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'll go over to my Facebook page. All right. And then I will go uh, here and take it and drop it in there. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I'll, I'll title it Way Back When. Okay. And uh -huh. uh, I'll uh, uh, share that picture. And people can go over to my Facebook page, and they can see it. There it is. It's up now. Okay? Nice. Uh, I'll go so check put it, it up there. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Jeff. Wait a minute. i got to get Jeff in here. There's Jeff. Um, 
Let me see here. Uh, let me get Jeff. I'll give him the number two spot since Charlie hasn't called. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Charlie. Let me put Charlie in there, and then he'll automatically go into his second place. Okay, he should go into his second place, right? And then I go here, and in the number four spot. Uh, uh, Charlie, check out your audio. You might have it on. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, go to Charlie and uh, uh, Stein Zeller. Stein Zeller, where is it? Wait a minute. Oh, there it is. Okay. And um, uh, there he is. Okay. So then now I've got uh, we've got four people on our citizen panel. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. yeah. Uh, so anyway, I'm kind of peppy. Consider I'm drinking. I'm drinking half calf. Number four spot. What? Uh, Charlie, what? check out your audio. You might have it on. Yeah. Uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, go to Charlie. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, well, somebody's got theirs on, and I think it's yeah, Jeff. I don't think it's me. I, I, no, it's I not you, YouTube, Charlie. Uh, Did it, Jeff? Yeah. Get through that audio. There, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, he hello, Jeff. Good evening. Hello. Uh, yeah. Um, did you go over there and take a look at the picture now? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm looking for where it says friends, and uh, uh, then I got to find friends. Yeah. Yeah. There yeah. we go. But yeah. maybe this is it. Yeah. Search. So now, uh, uh, oh, you know the Nancy Pelosi thing. Talking about Facebook, they don't want to take down the altered video. Nope. And and, uh, and not to forget, but I wanted uh, to ask Josh later in the show what he thought about um, uh, the statement by the uh, Senator uh, McConnell uh, about a uh, possibility uh, if asked if in 2020 if a judge, a, a Supreme Court judge opens up, they asked McConnell what he would do. And he says, well, I'll seat somebody. You know, of course, that's the last year of Trump's yep. current term. Yeah. Uh, so that's not going to make friends and influence people. No. Uh, wait a minute. What, ha what happened to everybody? Oh, oh, Jeff, uh, Jeff you just fucked, it, uh, fucked us up. <laughs> you just fucked it up. Yeah, it says Jeff Stein at the top. Yeah, yeah, and, and what uh, he did is he... Here it, it says red tube, what does he have to? What, is, what, what does he have to undo? He just, we're seeing, I don't know. His, we're seeing I, his desktop. I think he hit that red heart or something at the lower right. Yeah. Uh, it's not the double thing? Yeah. No, no, it's no, not that. No, it's not that. It, I think it's to the left of that. There's, a, that, there's yeah. a, like a double thing. The, the two Maybe screens. That's yeah. Share yeah. screen yeah. option. Undo yeah. that, Share. yeah. Get rid of it. Unclick that. Stop sharing. Stop sharing. Hit stop sharing. Yeah. Yeah, move it, it over and hit stop sharing. No, uh, no up one. Up, 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 up. Hit up. stop. Sh oh, Jeff. Hit yeah, stop uh, sharing. Re relax, Alex. Uh, uh, um, hit the. Sh uh, I don't know where you are now. Why don't you just hang up and call back, Jeff? Sure. <laughs> All right. Oh, Goodbye. Oh, oh boy. Oh, a beautiful picture of the Andromeda Galaxy, though. Yeah, now... Yeah. Yeah. It, 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 yeah uh, it, just hang up. Get rid of Skype completely. Quit Skype. There you go. Jeez almighty. <laughs> hey, oh, uh, damn it. Go easy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, no, but, I mean, I don't blame him. I blame Skype. Yeah, but he feels, because he feels they bad put, when they that put happens. This little and, thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, but he's done it before, and we, we, I, you'd think he wouldn't do it again. There's a, yeah. There are some things down below, folks. There are hearts, and here comes Jeff. Okay, now we bring Jeff in, and there you are, Jeff. Jeff, right, never go. go touch that thing down there with the two <laughs> screen looking, the screen share. Do not hit that. Do, don't, don't hit any of that. Because what it does is it then makes your screen be the screen that everybody's looking at, and that goes for any of the other people that call. When you call, you're, you got your Skype up, then just leave it the fuck alone. My, <laughs> you know, and, that's, and it's not your fault, uh, uh, Jeff. It's the fault of Skype for making such a shitty program, you know. Uh, I didn't even try to touch it. It was just 
It happens. Yeah, it's too easy to accidentally bump it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm yeah. So anyway, uh-huh. fuck, fuck them all, fuck them all. Uh, but anyway, so there's that picture. You see the picture? Uh, 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 I'm getting that. Yeah, there it is. Finally, I finally found yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Alan and cr- yeah, you had hair. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. W- hey, was that Ronnie okay, to your right? It's Alan K who is calling. <laughs> Hold on a second. I gotta get yeah, Alan's that's from Ron- the other night. That's Ronnie yeah, to hey. the right. Okay. Let me see here. Let me go up here. Uh, 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 Alan Kroger. There we go. And, uh, he should turn yourself sideways, uh, Alan. We don't like. Uh, we don't. We we abhor portrait mode. We do not allow portrait mode. No, no, no. So anyway, hi, hi, Al. Good seeing you again. Glad you decided to give it yet another try. Well, thank you very much. I, I, I felt inclined because I had to mention that Leon Redbone died today. Did he really? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I was a fan. I was a fan. Um, yeah, I was a big fan of his. Yeah. How old was he? 127. No, no. no, no. <laughs> really? They listened to that. <laughs> I always ask at my age, how old were they? Yeah. Because it, it, it's a matter of uh, comparing it to my mortality, you know? I think he was actually relatively young, if I remember. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I better not say. Yeah. I, I, I thought he was well, around my age, but. Well, I think I've got stomach cancer now. Oh. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it comes from IBS. It's one of the symptoms. Uh, IBS, no, IBS. IBS. I used to work at IBS. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Independent broadcasting service. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you have IBS, stomach cancer is just one of the symptoms. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I, you know what? Uh, what I should do is I, I'll take this picture. Okay, and I will, um, let me see here. I could, I could, uh, 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 what do you call it? Forward it to uh, Ronnie, okay? That'll work. <laughs> yeah, forward it to Ronnie and say, um, memories. Oh, uh, yeah. Memories, okay, memories. And it's amazing because she's in the picture, too. So that's oh. very nice. Uh, I'll take out Albert's note, and I will send it off to her. Okay? She probably will oh. be thrilled by that. Oh, there it went. Do you hear? That's my sound. Yeah. Or wow. Mail going. I have I to really turn like off. those interviews with her. What? I really like those interviews oh. you do with Ron. Oh, they're really good. Yeah, I like, and I think, yeah. they're, I think they're important, too, you know. So anyway, yes, uh, Jeff. Yesterday I was. Supposed He's to got his hand book. up, which is good because that means he doesn't have it on his mouse. Go ahead, Jeff. <laughs> Yesterday I was supposed to go to a party. Yeah. For a guy named uh, Herman, and uh, he was going to be a hundred years old. Was he a hermit? Yep. Yeah. But he was. He didn't make it. He didn't he make didn't it. Make he didn't it. make it. He didn't make it to the party. Oh. How old was he going to be? A hundred. Oh, boy. <laughs> and he died before his party? Boy. Yeah, like a couple of weeks before. Yeah, a couple of weeks before. Wow. Wow. Somebody's got two already. Wow. Somebody's got yeah. Anyway. Who else would have come with him? Who's got, who's got his audio who's got, up? Who's got, who's got his audio up? That, that could be slapback. I'm getting no. slapped. Well, let me see here. Let me get rid of it. There. Oh, are we okay? okay? No, no, we're not yet. Sometimes we have to turn. See, this is all. Ah, uh, you know. Now yeah. let's go. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, even, you know, it's nice. It's free reverb. Yeah, it's free reverb. Exactly. Uh, that. <laughs> anyway, um, um, uh, so uh, where were we? Uh, so. Um, the guy died, didn't make his 100th birthday. Didn't make his 100th yeah. birthday. My mother made her 100th birthday, and yeah. she died about six months later. You know, it was oh, like it was, the, it was like she was went the, past the finish line, and she said, that's it, you know? 
Yeah. But I don't even yeah, think she knew. It was the Queen's mother that, that was 100 years old, and that was back in 2002. And she made it to 103, didn't she? Yeah. And then she died. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. remembering. They had a picture of Kirk Douglas and his wife uh, on the Internet the other day, and he's 102 and she's 100. He's 103, and, I think. 103 now? Yeah. Okay, well, the photo that they showed was yeah. 102. Well, Unbelievable. Uh, you know, maybe maybe, maybe, uh, maybe that the secret to long life is raping Natalie Wood. Yeah. Uh, was that him or was that, uh, what's his name? That was uh, him. That was, the story whoa, has whoa, it it was him. Guy. The story has it it was him. Really? Mm-hmm. Uh, and, well, who pushed her off the boat? Robert Wagner? No, I don't. Uh, who, who was the guy, uh, the actor that she was talking to uh, on the boat when Robert Wagner got jealous? Uh, uh, Walken? Christopher yeah, Walken. Christopher Walken. Walken. Yeah. yeah. See, I know all this garbage. <laughs> Why do you know all that garbage, Charlie? I have no idea. He's in Arizona. It's too hot to go outside. Yeah, I, oh, okay. <laughs> all right. The day it was, yeah. yeah. Really? Uh, well, I'm tired tonight again. I'm just, I don't know. I, I think I have Tay-Sachs disease or some wasting disease because I am just, well, I have a reason for being tired tonight, and that's because I took the Xanax, and then I woke up at like 6 o'clock in the morning with a the, with the stomach ache from the Costco chicken salad that was a week and a half old. And when I was no, eating, there's so many things in that salad. You should have been fine. No, I said, now, I might have been preserved for a few years. But but, you'd you think know. the mold in there at least would have prevented me from getting some disease. Yeah. But, but anyway, Jake, no, it's, no, it won't I, last I, a week and a half in my house. It, it, well, I mean, it <laughs> has good stuff. I I ate it last night and it didn't taste bad. But I said maybe I shouldn't be eating this because I I, yeah. I I forgot how old it was that I had bought it on like a Saturday. Or a Friday, maybe. And it had been yeah. about a week and a half later, more than a week and a half. And I just don't know if... Well, obviously, it had to be that because it was I hadn't eaten much for, of anything. you got to smell it first. I smelled it. It smelled okay. You you, you can't yeah. tell by smell whether something's you, you, good or yeah, not. Yeah, you can... There's sort no, of a no, dank... No, yeah. no, no. You can't do that. That's That's ridiculous. Oh, well, so. then, then ask Marjorie to taste it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what the hell you're married for. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, so. Somebody mentions on my picture, a lot of hair, Alan. And it says, who's Alan? the woman in red? That's Ronnie. That's Ronnie. Uh, years ago. Years wow. ago. When we were all puppies. You know. She looked a little like Susan. No. You don't think there was a similar, no. you know, the dark, most dark hair, maybe. Susan looked like Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah, she, oh, she was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ronnie uh, looked more, who did she remind me of? She reminded me of somebody. That, oh, I forgot to turn on my light. Uh, uh, it reminded me of somebody, uh, and I can't remember now. Uh, but a, a little bit like uh, maybe Shirley MacLaine. Ask, you know, so. yeah. Yeah, in those well, maybe it was just the angle that uh, you know she's sideways and uh, a lot of hair there. Yeah, yeah. And I had hair down to here. If you know, <laughs> yeah. that picture. Mm. And, and it wasn't extensions. I know. I knew you then. No, it wasn't extensions. Not like Howard Stern. It wasn't extensions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, I don't know who that tall guy is though. I think he was somebody in uh, in in in. Not on the air. He wasn't on the air, but he was like, uh, I don't know, assistant to somebody or something. Yeah. He he may have just the, uh, you know, it's weird the the way the guy next to him looks like a Munchkin and uh, and he looks so tall. Well, the guy who looks like it a could Munchkin, be perspective. That's Alan Shaw. He was the head of the FM group, and mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to remember the guy's name, who is uh, the other guy there, who was the general manager. It was just a really great guy and I can't remember his name right now I'll I'll ask Ronnie she'll remember because she's good at that sort of thing well, it yeah. looks like they may have photoshopped John and Yoko onto this picture no, yeah they, they, they weren't there <laughs> actually that's a, that's the best picture I have of them I mean the other one I only other one I have is black and white mm. you know I had that picture of me at the uh, Special Olympics show and it was yeah. a picture of me with um, uh, 
Kevin Pollack, Robin Williams, Jerry Seinfeld. Wow. Uh, was there uh, anybody else in that picture? No, that was about it, I think. Uh, Dana Carvey. Where was that taken? Dana Carvey. Okay. Oh. Was, in was that, that in your picture. studio? And then there was Michael Pritchard and then me. No, I, I just, don't you listen? I just said it. Yeah, was I the, did. I just missed it. Though. I said it was at the Special Olympics show oh, yeah. that we did. And um, I, uh, I have a black and white picture of it that I always put up. But a few years ago, I found a color picture of it. You know, so, it, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it, 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 it was the most, the picture I took with the most famous people in one picture in my life. And they weren't all that famous at the time. Seinfeld wasn't that famous. Neither was Kevin Pollack. Neither was Dana Carvey. The only one that was pop, really well known in that picture was Robin Williams. So, you know, it's nice to now have a color picture of that. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and what was his name? Pete? Uh, God, I can't remember. Pete? Uh, God, I can't remember the last name. But he was Alan Klein's uh, assistant, his guy, the guy... He, that Alan worked for, uh, that he worked for Alan Klein, who was the Beals manager, and so that's why he was there because he brought them that day. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that that's the old version of a selfie. Okay. You know. I wonder who's behind the camera. That would be a good question. Yeah. You know. But anyway, and people are writing here. Um, uh, let's see here. You can still. Oh, you got comments, huh? Uh, yeah, somebody writes. You know, they write something from the show the night before, and oh, I would no. I guess it was today that I was talking about Nesbit soda. <laughs> uh, and it says you can still get Nesbit soda. It's still made. So <laughs> it was Nesbits of California. Anybody there in California know of Nesbits? No. Because you can't get it in California. It's in Nevada. No. <laughs> Yes. Never heard of it. Yeah, yeah. No, Nesbit soda, the best orange soda I ever had in my life. You know. Yeah. Well, let's see today. Um, today, our president finally admitted that the the, uh, the Russians fixed the election for him. Yeah. They he said did that. He, yeah. he said he. <laughs> Fixed the election because he won it. The, they, the Russians didn't win no, it. No, no, that, no. He said, he, that you, later, right? Did you see his? Did you see his uh, his uh, uh, tweet? Uh, no. Oh no, well, I'll, then I'll go you look don't at know, his Then you don't even know what we're talking about. Uh, well, uh, I heard him say uh, that uh, he didn't. Uh, that the Russians didn't do it. That he won the election. Uh, yeah, that was his response to when everybody started. Pointing out that he had admitted that the Russians helped him win. Okay. Recent tweet from Donald Trump. Let's see. It's here. Mueller. He said, I had nothing Russia, to do Russia, with Russia. the Russians helping me to win. Now, let's see here. We all knew he, ad he admitted it. Uh, is it here at all? I don't see it. Uh, By the way, Leon Redbone was 69. He was my age. Really? Yeah. Very young. Well, yeah. to me, he's young. You know. But, uh, I mean, anyway. to me, that's young. <laughs> yeah, did you find could, it, Phil? I could drop over. Uh, no, I've got a million tweets from him, but well, uh, you know, I don't. I don't look at this stuff that often. Well, he said that he he all admitted, didn't he, in his tweet today that the Russians <laughs> fixed the election for him? Hmm. Yeah, and then he then he wrote a tweet later denying taking it back. And took it down. But took some, down the original tweet. It, somebody doesn't. Well, if he, he took he it down, then I don't have he it. He doesn't you know. realize that in tweets there are no backsies. You know, no. you may do a tweet because you got a big fucking mouth, and uh, it, you're gonna have to live by it. And he was saying, "Yeah, the, the Russians helped me win." Uh, I don't believe. That. Well, you don't believe it. He said. I it. don't see a tweet from him it, saying that. All because he took it down and telling you it's there. All the news networks picked it up. That was Melania put that tweet up. She said, give me your phone. And uh, he says, no, you can't do that. Russian tweet. Hold on a second. I'm going to find Sorry, out. Sorry, Phil. It happened. Uh, all right. You can't push your way out of this one. <laughs> yeah. 
No, I see here. Oh, Trump admits Russia helped him get elected for the first time. Okay, here it is. Uh, here's the tweet. All right. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. No, that isn't the tweet. They don't have the tweet here. Wow. I didn't have it either. They said that's uh, because it never existed. Yeah, it did <laughs> exist. Uh, um, uh, well, let's see here. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, I got to find the actual tweet. You know. I saw the tweet before he took it down. So. <laughs> Do you follow uh, Trump? No, but the news had it before oh. he took it down. And they showed it on, on the screen. Yeah. It says uh, in this tweet, uh, he says, Russia, 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 that's all you heard at the beginning of this witch hunt hoax. And now Russia has disappeared because I had nothing to do with Russia helping me get elected. There you it go. was a Help crime that didn't exist. Did you fake <laughs> news? Wait a minute. Did you find it? Did you say? Uh, I, I didn't find it. I found this tweet. Yeah. That's the one I saw where he said, he was declaring that he had nothing to do with Russia helping him get elected. Right. <laughs> well, that means he admitted that Russia helped him get elected. He just didn't have anything to do with it. Well, that's what. Oh yeah, so yeah, yeah. He said he, the guy yeah, that's he how, that's how he it? put it. I didn't have anything to do with the Russians helping me win the election. That's what it said. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, that that meant he didn't have anything to do with it. I mean, the Russians obviously interfered, according to Mueller. And, well, and, now, uh, you're believing, you know, now you're believing Mueller? Well, and they, also, they, also, they also said no, that they influenced all 50 states uh, by hacking into uh, uh, election stuff and Podesta uh, and the DNC no, they, uh, stuff. He, they and, didn't say... They, he, Mueller didn't say anything about them hacking into like uh, voting machines or anything like that. Not voting machines, but they hacked into uh, databases and stuff. Yeah, and uh, and it seems as though all fifty states were involved. Really? Not, yeah. Wow. And I don't know. If you can attribute that to Mueller, but uh, it's they said that that they got it from the information. Yeah. <laughs> You report. made a noise, Al. What was that noise about? I'm like, it's amazing what we are going through in this country, and we can't do anything about it. Well, we could yeah. do something about it, but we don't do anything about it. Well, yeah. yeah. You know, they should we... have Jimmy Carter overlook our elections to make sure they're fair. Yeah, okay. He does it in Zimbabwe. Why not here? Well, that certainly makes sense. You know. Hold on oh. a second. Let me... Uh, let me uh, put Tony in here because uh, he of the really disgusting vile wallpaper. Oh, so uh, Char Charlie is holding up the Constitution because uh, that's that's what, you know, it, it reviles. I, I can't find anywhere in here that the uh, that Rush. It says you cannot indict a sitting president. I've no, that was an OL five or six times. There's nothing no, in this 19, 19 years, Charlie, 19 years ago, back. 19 mm -hmm. years ago, after the Star investigation, the uh, OLC, which is the, uh, the uh, legal office of legal counsel for, uh, I think, the White House, uh, came up with a memo that said you can indict, uh, indict a sitting president. It doesn't have anything to do with the Constitution, but well, it was, it, said it was, it was a memo. It was unconstitutional. Uh, Yesterday, that's what he said. It's unconstitutional to indict a sitting president. Well, I can't find that anywhere in here. Uh, we're going to find out that uh, there were three people in the meeting, at least, Rosenstein, uh, Barr, and Mueller. And uh, Mueller has got a different story than Rosenstein. I mean, than, than uh, Barr. And Rosenstein's going to have to be the tiebreaker as to uh, what was said about whether the judgment was based on the OLC or if it was just based on uh, the potential crimes, uh, because they're 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 talking different stories. This is all getting fucking boring, isn't it, folks? It is. uh, you just don't like hearing my voice. Well, that's true, and a lot of people would agree with me. Uh, Josh, what do you? It's not con. Is it in the Constitution that you can? No. 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 It was an all. Nineteen. I didn't ago. ask you. Well, I know. 
you know. Why is it when I don't even ask you a question, you answer it? Like I was asking I Josh. I wanted to bring him into the conversation because I saw you took a breath. <laughs> oh, that, that wasn't a breath. That was a, a poetic pause. Uh, uh, I mean, I, I was listening last night to you. You called uh, Jack last night. Yeah, you hijacked his show for an hour. <laughs> what, who's he going to talk to, Mike Allen? <laughs> well, you might let him talk now and then. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Josh, the Constitu is there anything in the Constitution that says you can't, you can't um, uh, indict a president? Explicitly, no. Okay. I mean, it's not explicit either way, yes or no. I mean, it's... it's uh, that's that is an interpretation of different people mm -hmm. and the current interpretation that the Justice Department abides by is one that they came up with you know some odd years ago I, I don't know how many how, how the how long ago um, but that's their current belief so that's basically just the interpretation of what you know are considered the best well, legal minds that work for the Justice Department. I was led to believe that the reason they said that was that that was a Justice Department decision that you couldn't mm -hmm. indict yeah. a sitting president. Yeah, I mean, basically what they're saying is, I mean, federal crimes are are prosecuted by you know, the, the federal government, okay, by an arm of the, you know, United States Department of Justice. I mean, U.S. attorneys, et cetera, all work for, you know, the Department of Justice, right? You know, if you go up the chain of command, and they're basically, their, their belief at the Justice Department or their determination, their interpretation is that, you know, in the case of, I believe, you know, the, the President of the United States, and I, I would assume they, I don't know if they hold this, for the vice president of the United States as well, I've never looked into it, that, you know, that you do not indict them for federal crimes, that they are the one, or not, I shouldn't say example, the one scenario that separates them from all other, you know, American citizens, basically, mm -hmm. because there is a process for their removal if you believe that they have committed a crime. Uh, there is a constitutionally spelled out process for their removal from office mm -hmm. if you believe that's the case and then once they're out of office they're a private citizen again and uh you know uh the statute of limitations would not have expired if you remove them from office because that's going to happen within you know a fairly quick amount of time and then they're free to be prosecuted for whatever crimes they committed now i i don't personally agree with all that you know if you ask me but i'm saying their belief is that if the president of the United States, for you know no apparent reason, walks out in the middle of the street and shoots somebody, he's committed murder, but you can't indict him for murder. You know uh, uh, that you need to remove him from office and then indict him for murder. Now that's an extreme example, I, I understand, but I'm just saying, and maybe, maybe you could, maybe you could say you could do it. You know, it gets really hairy there. I mean, maybe you could say, well, murder's a state crime. Okay, so. I don't know. Let's say he commits a carjacking. There's a federal crime, right? I mean, if they want it to be. So take your pick. Only if he goes across state lines. Right. So, you know, I mean, that's that's their determination. I don't particularly like it, but that's that's the uh, that's the process by which they go by. Now, if you read between the lines of the Mueller report and his own personal statement, he basically said without saying, because this is the type of guy that he is, he basically said without saying, but not for this particular mm -hmm. belief in the department that I work for, in the department that, uh, you know, commissioned this investigation, they're more than likely, I think we can determine, would have been an indictment. Yeah, uh, you know, I mean that okay. that's that's uh, the way I took it. Charlie has his hand up. Charlie, I may not be remembering this right, but I believe that Spiro Agnew was indicted. Yeah, I, I think he was. I don't remember if he was or he was going to be. So you know, that's what I was saying is I don't remember if the DOJ extends this to the vice president mm -hmm. or not. I, you know that they they might. I, don't, I have to look into that. You know, I really don't know the answer to that. 
offhand. Anyway, he did end up resigning. Right. That's why. Yeah, uh, exactly. I, I think you're right. So he resigned over financial improprieties. Yeah, I, think. I believe so. You're right. Um, hey, you know, uh, Trump is saying that Mueller has got a hard on for him because he didn't refund fifteen thousand uh, dollars membership fee to his uh, 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 golf club. And that Mueller put up a fifteen thousand dollar membership, and Trump, and then I guess either pulled out or had a fight with Trump, and Trump wouldn't give him back his money. You know. Trump assumes everybody's as petty as he is. Uh, you, know, you know, it's a very good point you make there, Charlie. You know, he is. Yeah, he always has a fight with somebody, though. You know, he's always going. Yeah, he's yeah. beefing in something. Did you see him cover up the John if, McCain on, on the... Uh, if, yeah, yeah, I mean, he was yeah, fighting if, dead man still. That if the crazy. former director of the FBI took two years out of his life and basically played out a grudge for two years in the public eye that consumed the news cycle 24 hours a day, seven days a week for two years over $15,000. Yeah. I would have to think that our nation is in far deeper trouble than the any Josh, when, when did Mueller know that there was no collusion? I, that, I, that, that's no interesting. Idea. You know, he took two years out of his life, but may, you know, it, it would be interesting to know when he found out there was no collusion and why he let this thing go for two years. If there was no crime there, he should have known that uh, pretty early on. Well, that, that's, I don't believe that you can make that determination or, or that we could have any idea how long it took to find out. And, I think he and he, also wanted... said that, he also said that he was commissioned to not only investigate that, he was also commissioned... To investigate any obstructions that might yeah. have taken place or would take place during that investigation and I think it's pretty clear that the executive branch specifically the president obstructed from beginning to end so it's not really a surprise if, to me that it took as long as it did yeah but you see if you lay in wait for the guy to obstruct uh, because he knows he's innocent and there was no obstruction you know he's after a innocent. while he's going to get a little pissed off Right, and uh, then you know, finally, no, I, do I don't buy that premise to begin with. No, so I, I'm just going to say, I, no, I don't agree with that. And secondly, if, if he did, if there is truly, you know, no underlying crime, and the only thing that would continue to be investigated was obstruction, the simple way to get yourself out of that is to newsflash: stop obstructing. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 it's, it's <laughs> difficult when you're an innocent man and you're accused, and it's uh, putting a damper on your agenda. Uh, you know, well, I can understand for, things uh, being upset. For a black man in Chicago falsely accused of murder, I might be able to understand that argument. But for one of the richest white men who happens to be the only person walking in the world who can't be indicted for a crime and is surrounded by all the money we could all pile up. And uh, 500 fucking lawyers who all make $50 million an hour, I, I have just a little bit less sympathy than I might have for pretty much anybody else in regards to that. I think Mueller was padding his billable hours, and that's why it took two years. He wanted his 15 Gs back. That's Well, that's very possible. Hopefully he got it. Well, He's going to get his pound of nice, flesh. It's nice to know that there's somebody as petty as Donald Trump. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Phil. Phil. It's boring. Can you really? hear my? Uh, you got, you got to come up. You got to come up with a new routine. <laughs> All right. Alex obstructed justice. <laughs> I should have gotten some real coffee. I'm tired as hell. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, so it's, what's the what's the end game now with uh, Trump? Wait, 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 hold, hold on a second. Wait, before you talked, uh, okay. uh, uh, Jeff had his hand up. Yes, Jeff. You got to turn on your oh. mic. Jeff. Uh, you're muted, Jeff. Yeah. Good way to keep the place quiet. Um, I often seem to hear more and more people who are uh, working in the Congress who are saying that, yeah, I, I think the president is in trouble and, and we ought to go after him. And let's assume that 
that enough senators who are obviously Democrats decide to go after him. What are they going to do? Because there's no exit plan for them. Well, I think that if uh, if he, to begin with, the job of the Congress is to do exactly this. If they see mm. that there's something that's suspicious, uh, they should uh, look into, and that's what they're going to do, look mm -hmm. into the possibility of impeachment. Uh, that's their job. Uh, and if they didn't do it, uh, they wouldn't be doing their job. Okay. Uh, and, and then if they find that there is reasonable cause to indict him, which is impeach him, then they will, because they're doing their job. None of this should have anything to do with politics. It should all have to do with evidence and with what is presented yeah. to you. And the fact is, you're not, you only have one Republican that's going to vote for impeachment. In spite of the fact that there may be 20 others who go, he looks pretty guilty, but I'm not going to do anything about it. Okay? So that, that, that's the problem. But, I mean, the job of the Congress is to do their job, and this is one of their jobs. Yep. So. Tony, you were going to say something. Yeah, but... so Wait a minute. The Hold on, everybody. Before you, go, before you go on, it's not only hideous wallpaper time... <laughs> okay, but it's also hideous furniture time. Uh, we haven't noticed which that piece? in the past. Which piece, Alex? Uh, any of them. They're terrible. Okay. <laughs> Show off your Hummel. I've never noticed. <laughs> One of the plates, I think I cracked it. I didn't realize. Does it. your mother have Hummels? Yeah. <laughs> you got to stop eating off those plates. You got to stop I... eating off those Hummels. <laughs> How many I think I cracked one of the plates. I didn't realize it. Well, I could oh, never really? understand what people. It's hanging on the wall, but it's got a chip in it. I think I might have dropped it a while ago. Good. She can't Good. Though. Don't worry about I'll it. Admit it. Yeah. Anyway, what were you? What were? What were you yeah, saying? I was going to say. What the, were you? Um, I forgot what I was going to say because I'm laughing about the wallpaper. It is, you know, the other night I walked by and when I look at the wallpaper, I thank you, Alex. I said, you know, I never noticed how bad this wallpaper was until he Is that a custom it's switch terrible. plate <laughs> behind you? Is that a custom switch plate? Which one? This one? Uh, yeah. Well, that's knickknacks I got for over years. Nick, Nick, like I got some stuff from San Francisco, uh, Disney World. I had a lot of different things in here. It's like a crystal. Ooh. Yeah, this is this. A lot of this is older. Once she goes, it's going on eBay. I'm joking. No, I'm not gonna sell. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she would kill me. She would haunt me if I did that. Actually, she people collect that me. shit their whole lives, and you go to put it on eBay, and nobody well, wants it. That would be even worse, Phil. <laughs> Ten cents to the dollar. <laughs> I gotta keep it. No, you know what I was gonna ask? I forgot. Oh. So what's the end game now with the Mueller report? Is it are they going to do anything? Like, did he find anything on him that they can really just say we got to dig deeper? I mean, or is this or is this just a political narrative to the election by the Democrats? I'll let Charlie answer that. He's got the Mueller report sitting there. I haven't read it yet. <laughs> did you I see the redacted page, top. Charlie, sure. that had Alex's names on it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, what's going to happen? Um, no. I think that there's a lot in there yeah. that shows that there may have been obstruction. Even Mueller says that if, if he didn't feel that the president was guilty of, a, was not guilty of obstruction, he would have said so. Mm -hmm. But he didn't because he couldn't say that. So what he was saying, in effect, was... The, there's a lot of evidence here to show that there was obstruction. He also said that if he said it, uh, the president couldn't defend himself. Which is uh, why he couldn't say it. Yeah, yeah. and uh, so, you know, hey, let them have uh, a look-see in Congress. You know, impeachment means they vote on it, but they it, let them investigate it. And, uh, you know, if he's uh, cleared, then he's, he's cleared, and he can be cleared that way. If they're honest about it, and they're not just Jerry Nattling or Nattling him. Yeah, if he's innocent, they'll find out, and he'll. Yeah, and they can do that. So let them do it. 
cool. fine with me. Trump even said it's good with him. Well, I'm bored and so is the audience. We're down to the lowest amount of people that have ever wow. watched this yeah. show at one time. Uh, well, uh, let's talk about the four-year-old girl that got hit with the baseball. Oh, uh, You know, a foul ball. Uh, this baseball stuff is dangerous. You know? They got to put those nets up. They gotta, I don't know why they didn't do she it She was yet. just to the side of the net. She was sided and they saw Yeah. Well, nah, that's unfortunate. Uh, can you imagine? That guy felt so bad, the uh, baseball yeah, was, player. Was that the Dodger game, Phil, or no? Uh, it, I don't remember what game. All those teams look alike. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a baseball fan. Really? You really got to yeah. pay attention at the game. You know, I've been to, I've been to A's games because I had some good seats for a couple of years, but uh, uh, I had the camera stuck in my face the whole time, just taking pictures. No, oh, really? Yeah. Are, are you allowed to do that? I was in the first base box, uh, the first row, seat 15. So I was uh, on the wall uh, at the at first base. I could talk to the first baseman. And yeah, but were you, are you allowed of, to take pictures? Of the baseball yeah. game, yeah, yeah. they they let me. And I, you can't sell, I had, you can't sell them. I don't think so. I had uh, I had eight games a season, and uh, uh, I had it for three or four seasons. And uh, yeah, I didn't really care what team it was. I knew the A's were always going to be one of the teams, and you know, so. And if they uh, weren't, you were in the wrong place. What do you mean? If, you, if, it were, if they weren't one of the teams, you were in the wrong place. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. But uh, just to the left of me was where all the pro photographers were, uh, you know, the pit. And, uh, you know, they'd walk over because I had a 500-millimeter lens, and the guy's looking, and he says, you know, what, what is this? <laughs> you know. Better equipment than they did. Yeah, uh, you should see some of the ones they had. Well, They had things they were that long. Anyway, we've got the smallest amount of people we've ever had. Maybe I should just sign this off soon here. Sign I'm going to show them my mother soon, Alex, sleeping. <laughs> what? I should bring a laptop in the room and wake her up. <laughs> That'll really clear out the house. <laughs> nah, he might get viewers. I'm joking. I wouldn't do that because she'd yell. But i got to check on him. She is calling me. I'll be right back. Okay, he'll be right back. If you see me walk by yet. If you see me walk by with a big pillow, call my lawyer. Yeah. Hey, are you still paying the rent there? Huh? Is he still paying rent? I don't know. He's got to rub the landlord's feet and pay rent? This is worse than Trump. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is the lowest amount of people we've had watching this show. Well, what else is going on? Tonight? And last night was one of the lowest uh, amount of people who watched the, uh, the replay on Facebook. So I'm wow. just thinking of not posting any of it. You know, just well, saying, what are they watching on YouTube, I would imagine? Well, if I don't post it, then they're going to be forced to watch it live, and that's it. Uh, you know? Well, that's that's the way a radio show Let's works. See how many we got listening to it on audio. Uh, uh, terrible. Okay. All right. Actually, we almost have more people listening to it audio than on video. So, mm. you know, I don't know what I'm doing all this work for. Plus, I'm exhausted and tired. Here comes our old friend, uh, uh, Patrick. Hey, Patrick. Patrick. So let me go here and put him in a, let's see here. He would be in the number seven spot. Uh, so are you blaming uh, Al for this low viewership? Because <laughs> Al was on last night and tonight, you know. <laughs> we have to hang up. No, 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 uh, 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 Al, uh, Al was not the problem. No, no. Uh, oh, okay. No, he's not I helped problem. kick the numbers up. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, he's not the, he's not the problem. Yeah, uh, you're a number fluffer? Huh? Yes. <laughs> he's a number fluffer. He keeps the numbers up. He's a number fluffer. Yeah. Something like that. Let's see here. Oh, well, now we're up to 23 people watching. <laughs> to the people watching. Well, when you start talking about fluffers, maybe they, you know, come on. <laughs> Nobody knows what a fluffer is. <laughs> uh, well, it's a union uh, job. Isn't that a sag after thing? Sag after, yeah. Yeah, you get pensions out of it. <laughs> yeah. Fluffer was the woman in a porno film who was hired... Not to be in the film, but to get the gentleman ready for the scene. 
Ready when you are, CB. You know. Uh, yes, they would. They would fluff the performer, as it were. Yeah. Yeah. Parents no. joke. Huh? Yeah. What? How do you tell your parents at Christmas what you do for a living? You know, you're not even in the fucking movie. You're just blowing the guys and getting them ready. Yeah. I wonder what they get paid an hour for that. Uh, maybe it's a city job. Probably more than my hat job, I'll tell you. That. Well, probably more than your hat job. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine I tell my mother I'm a fluffer now. <laughs> I quit the hat job. I'm going to be a fluffer. Yeah. Does it pay good? Yeah. Keep it up. She have no idea. She would think I'm cleaning houses, Alex. Oh, really? She would think fluffing would be cleaning or something. Yeah? I thought you meant the broom when you said like a fluffer. Huh? You know, like, I, thought, like, I thought it was like a, a vacuum or something. No, 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 no. Mm. Uh, fluffer is a, is, a, uh, is a person who literally gets the performers ready to perform. So. And keeps them ready. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Keeps them ready, I and think. Ke keeps them ready, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Attempts to keep them ready. Okay. Mm. Trying to get something here. I'm doing some fixing up of the pictures here. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, you got eight, uh, eight victims now. Huh? huh? Is it eight? Uh, I, uh, yeah. Eight? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Two away from a full house. Come on, people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I just said uh, Tony was a little too low, so I brought him up higher. Okay, it should, looks like it's okay now. Oh. Yeah. Um, well, Tony, so, you, if you move your screen a little bit towards you, you won't be as low. There you go. Yeah, I, I didn't shave. Yeah. So, she wanted to know the Mets score. I didn't know I told her. I think she mm -hmm. loves the Mets, but she's not watching them tonight. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah, she really does love baseball. She likes the Mets. Yeah. She wants, you know the score? I said, I'm not watching the game. She Ask doesn't. Alexa. She talks, she argues with that thing sometimes, but it doesn't work right. Hey, somebody, I heard, what? Alex, yeah. that if you say the word Simon oh. Says oh. Yeah. Uh, to to an, uh, to Alexa or okay. whatever, whatever you call them, that it has to tell you the truth. So if uh, you know, if you say Simon says, "Fuck you," uh, all right. Well, let me let me listen. give it a try. Oh, all right. Echo. Simon says, "Fuck you." Fuck you. It's not answering. Yes, she did. I, oh, I, what did she say? I couldn't hear it. Um, Echo. <laughs> Simon says, "Fuck you." She just Q or something. I don't know. Uh, I think she said, fuck you. No, <laughs> no what you should say is, it's a New York. Uh, what you should say is, fuck me, yeah. fuck you. That's right. the New York reply. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I'm, I'm try I can't remember exactly what the thing is. Maybe you can look it up. Uh, you know, when you say Simon says to one of those devices, uh, it, um, it reacts differently. Well, it didn't. It just did said something here. Hold yeah. on a second. I couldn't hear. Hold on a second. I'll tell you. Uh, uh. Echo, Simon says, fuck you. you. Oh, and she you. says, fuck you back. Oh, okay. But it has a beat because uh, Simon, uh, because Alexia doesn't like to say fuck. Yeah. So it, it's beep you. So it, uh. repeats, it repeats whatever you say. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's uh, it was supposedly uh, one of those secret things about these well, uh, devices. Apparently, which... it's not that secret anymore now that the blabbermouth told everybody. Well, that's you know, hey, we we're amongst friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, oh boy, another half hour left. I'm exhausted. I don't, I don't know why I'm exhausted lately. It's Tay Sachs disease. I'm sure it's a Jewish thing called Tay Sachs disease. Yeah, uh, didn't you say that that's the one that makes you act like a, uh, a journalist in front of Trump? Uh, you know, jittery and so forth. Why, why is everything with you fucking Trump? <laughs> really, I'm serious. Well, you're, you're getting you know. your your one note song, you know. One note uh, song. Okay, well, I you mean, know, I thought you liked the low-hanging fruit. No, but you don't surprise anybody. 
I know exactly. I, say, much a I say something. I know exactly what you're going to say. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you, you'd be a good attorney. You 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 have this blind obedience to the Fuhrer. I mean, that's really mm. what it's all about. You would have made a good Nazi. You really would have. <laughs> he would have he got rid of us, Alex. He would have rounded us up quick. Hey, listen. Yeah. Listen, if Hitler had met Phil yeah. and killed him in a concentration camp, he would have let all the other Jews go because he would have felt satisfied. He would have felt satisfied. How can I top this? I yeah, feel. yeah. I am sorry. I am satisfied. Phil is dead. Good. Let the Jews go. You know. I cannot be killed. Yeah. Phil, you would have you would have been a savior for all those people. I would have been good. And by the way, I think- by the way, I got to tell you, uh, it would be nice if if Hitler done your wallpaper. Yeah, he did his wallpaper. He probably Can't would have thrown me in the oven seeing his wallpaper out. Yeah, Hitler yeah. was a wallpaper hanger, right? I asked my mother, how old is this? It's got to be old. Because she says my grandmother had this. So she must have never changed the rules. I think no. she did change it. She I, don't remember. I would, I if I lived, had to even live in that room under any conditions, <laughs> yeah. I would kill somebody. I not that I'm, not that I'm suggesting anything here. No. Because your, bad, your, your, your similarities to Norman Bates are amazing. You it's know. crazy. Now, I mean, I'm if, that to... paper, if that paper was a raw shock test, what do you see in it, Alex? <laughs> Must kill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, so it triggers your uh, serial killer instinct. Talk She's to proud me. of it, too. Tell she me. loves it. She's, oh, I love my wallpaper. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's... But I never really noticed it, how bad it was until you pointed it out. That I walk by now when I walk by in the morning, and I look at it, I actually laugh because I'm saying, "Oh my God, it is horrible." Listen, when you really get a look at it. When she goes, it. first thing to go is that wallpaper. Yeah, I mean, oh, if I could change this room, if you, I, it, I wouldn't even blame you if you re- you replaced it with Scooby Doo wallpaper. <laughs> I should do that. I should hey, put spider Hey, Tony, video. when you did that yeah. uh, remodel downstairs, did you use the same wallpaper? We have no wallpaper. It's we knock walls down and put the floor. You know, we did the floors. We painted stuff, uh-huh. but I have no wallpaper. We're it's down a, to twenty oh, fucking people. Oh, no. That's cool. not a bad night. It's Thursday. a terrible night. We're well, usually up around thirty. Time. Where is everybody? Is it that bad, folks? Yeah. They're Jeez. on the all Trump all day station. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't. I, I don't know where they went. You know, you you're gonna laugh at this. She's yelling at me to go to sleep. She's yelling at you. What are you doing? She's telling me to go to bed. I it's have about time. I quit this job. I told him she's worried about work. <laughs> I sleep. I don't sleep till three in the morning. I gotta read later. Go to sleep. Then she's telling me what's the score of the Met game. I just told her it's zero zero. I don't even know what the score is. He doesn't work. He goes to work and he texts me. 40, 50 times. Yeah, I just listen to. I actually do work before nine people. in the morning. Yeah, I, f- I keep forgetting you're not. East well, Coast, he doesn't. So. He doesn't. He doesn't message me on Facebook because he knows if he does, I will just. I will make it so he obliterate can. him. Yeah. 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 You make you make me like the wallpaper. Yeah. I'll be in the wallpaper. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But I laugh at the wallpaper now. When you said that, I can't. Yeah. I up I just get a kick out of it. Patrick's, oh, Patrick's got his hand up. And he either looks like Patrick with his hand up or wallpaper. I can't figure out which. Yes, Patrick. Um, you know, the thing that Tony does for me, which yeah. is a time saver, is yeah. he sends me voice messages. Yeah. Rather than He's... typed. And it saves me hours of having to scroll through because I can just do <laughs> them for a 30, 40, 50, 60 second clip. So, oh, I ignore those. Oh, I don't. Those- don't ask. You get the gist of everything quickly. So, the voices are always. I like the power of Facebook. Patrick's my psychiatrist. He knows the day I, I, I quit that job, I'm going to throw streamers on the way out. But I got to make it like I'm sad to leave, but I can't wait to get the fuck out of there, really. If I see a top hat again, I'm going to throw them all over the place. Mm-hmm. Well, why, so why, why act sad when you leave? Why would you want to act sad? Well, I got to make it like I don't really want to leave, but I really do because I don't want them to feel like I'm happy to be leaving them. They're going to miss Bring Danish. 
We're Danish. What have they ever fucking done for you except give yeah. you this, give you the world's lousiest job? You're right, Alex. I can't. Wait. Well, how should I? How should I tell them? You think then? Tell them to go fuck themselves. I'm leaving. <laughs> give them two weeks' in notice the- and have them tell them uh, thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, I, I would I rather can't... rub my mother's feet. Then, uh, then work in your. I would rather I rub my mother's. I, I would rather rub my mother's that. That clit than do this job for one more day. <laughs> she called me in to clip the to, to clip her nails. I can't. She can't do what she's doing. Can you just? I got a little. It's Wait, like don't, it was don't the off. nails even keep growing after death? They might. I'll let you know. <laughs> just come in and bomb her, and just leave her in the room for another. Six months, then I can be done. <laughs> this, by the way, folks, in case you just joined us, we're talking about his mother. Okay, who's uh-uh. trying to listen to this conversation? But can't hear. <laughs> no, she's not hearing it. If she could hear it, I no. would be saying it. She's like, yeah, she's line. probably hearing it on her uh, device. You know? yeah. is, is, I don't is, know is, what is, name to call it. When she, when she, sure. when she goes, can I say then? Uh, I didn't like her anyway. Yeah, I won't hold it. I won't hold it against you, Alex. You won't hold it <laughs> against just, me. Yeah, please. I, I'm playing. Yeah, I yeah. gotta collect some checks. I know, I know, I know. Well, what you're working on is you're getting the city of New York yes. to pay for this, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, uh, you'll be a I'm caregiver. I'm city caretaker, so I can actually once I get enroll and they hire me, yeah. I can actually work for all the people in my area. Oh well, you can come I, over yeah. here. I'm gonna need it any day now. <laughs> See, there you go. And then, but what's his, what's nice is basically, yeah, I'll be working through the city. Just I show up move. in Central Park and say you're a caretaker, you oh. know, and then, you know, you say, where's the lawnmower? You know, <laughs> I, you know maybe they'll give you a better job. Can you imagine my mother fires me after two weeks? I can't take him send me somebody else in. That'd be, ter- that'd be, <laughs> kill that'd be, that'd be great yeah, if your mother killed, uh, killed you, fired you. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Then you'll get your 26 weeks. Yeah. Right, Al? Yeah, Al? Right? Absolutely. Norman. Norman. <laughs> Norman. By, by the way, the comedy doesn't get better than this, does it, Al? No, no. <laughs> We're down to 19 people now. <laughs> what am I doing? What are we doing tonight that is just so boring, you people, that you're leaving? Now we're down to you're, 18. You're not <laughs> talking about Trump. You know what I'm gonna do? I may just, I may just, hey, I may just kill the video. Fuck them, you know. Oh, uh, you know what? I heard you at the beginning about Natalie Wood. My mother swears that the husband killed her, Alex. What's his name? From Robert Robert Wagner. Robert Wagner. Yeah, Robert Wagner. They said she was having an affair with Christopher Walken. She was in a movie with him. Or something. That's what she yeah. was telling. Well, she was the last movie she ever made. She Brainstorm. Was making, Brainstorm. Yeah. She was making with him. Can you do your Christopher Walken interpretation, Alex? <laughs> interpretation? Yeah, no. yeah. Or, you mean you know, impression? Impression. Well, no, yeah. I was taught how to do Christopher Walken by Kevin Pollack, who said mm. the, the way Here. you do Christopher Walken is you take any one syllable word and turn it into two syllables. <laughs> um, what's a good one syllable word, good size one syllable word? Um, Doesn't he say like whoa or something like that? Yeah, he would whoa. take a word like whoa and you go, whoa. <laughs> oh, I see. He does talk like that. He was good in that movie, The Dead Zone, the Stephen King book. I remember him in that picture. Oh. That was one of the worst movies of all time. Oh, I liked it. it was, I, liked I know King. you would. I know, that's true. Yeah. But he was also good, of course, the deer hunter. Did he blow he blew his brains out, right? No one? Which one? The deer hunter. He was in it, I think. Really? Hey, oh. by the way, has the cleaning woman been in? Not you can, yet. Your lens I'm, is clean today. I think I just yeah. cleaned it. We, we, we're actually in the process of hiring her. We're going to bring her in once a week, and then I'm going to send her downstairs to clean. Oh, really? She's going to get two apartments. But we'll have to pay her twice, though. Oh, now you're not living downstairs anymore. Well, actually, I do live downstairs, but now I'm sleeping upstairs to take care of her, my mom. I don't mean it like her. By the way, just so because just we talked about where you sleep, we went up one person. Oh, I'm actually sleeping in my old room now upstairs So when she calls because she needs a walk or something. I get up in the middle. I'm what is that? Sleep. I drink coffee and drink. What was that? So I'm kind of like up and down all day. 
Okay. But I'm sleeping. Well, now, this is this is fascinating uh, stuff. Kevin Pollack is uh, doing a Christopher Walken impression. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, don't don't do that. that uh, no, no. All right, don't do that. Uh, you, you know, right. I mean, no, no Christopher Walken. Yeah. Come on, off. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so, so what can we talk about? We got uh, twenty minutes left. What should we talk about? Oh, we're down to There's eighteen. We're down to eighteen people now. Oh. Oh, talk about how you just killed off two listeners. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You know something? I'm just not gonna. I'm I'm gonna start doing the show one day a week. That's my that that's what I've decided to do. I think. One day a week, you know. That's the summer schedule. And then if I just have 18 people, I won't give a shit, you know. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, the only reason I do this more is for uh, for Damien and for uh, Jack and and for you guys because you all kind of seem to enjoy it, you know, and it's something to uh -huh. do. And uh, but you know, if I'm gonna if if I'm gonna get the, this amount of people watching me, then fuck it. You know, I'm going to do it once a week or maybe once a year. Can you tell where they're from, the ones huh? that you're that are watching you? Does no, it give you their locale? No, no, I don't have a locale on them, you know. Uh, but um, if you're watching right now, everybody turn me off, okay? <laughs> uh, I just want to see this go down to, like, one, okay? Because I'll have one because I've got two of these, by the way, the 19, are me. Okay, and uh, so, and I've got one on here. You've got yeah, one on I'm, too. Okay, turn yeah, it on off. The laptop. Turn it, turn it, turn it off. Turn it off. All right. Uh, sign out, and and let's right. see how many people we have. Let's see if it changes here. I just Phil just disappeared. Which one were you, Phil? Uh oh. Uh, I guess I was number nineteen. Yeah. Oh, it just went up to twenty. I don't know what happened when you signed <laughs> off there. Let me, let me get out of mind. <laughs> yeah. You know. Okay, I just uh, I killed it off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, did did it did it change? No, I'm up to twenty. Uh, yeah. Also, oh, somebody's logging yeah, in. Maybe, if you, maybe, maybe if you just signed off completely, I'd go up to thirty. Well, let's see. <laughs> <You know. laughs> as soon as he goes off, it spikes. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked here on a, on our uh, uh, our what do you call it? Uh, does Tony have lice? <laughs> no. <laughs> He, he said, might. He just said oh, lice? lice. No lice. 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 No. That's not a beard, Tony. <laughs> Does Tony have lice? Sorry to spoil them, but I don't. <laughs> okay, that, uh, let's see here. Candace says Trump. That's what people want to hear. The U.S. is in big trouble. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Fine. Well, can it? She call in? Yeah, he should call in. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, Patrick doesn't give a shit, and I'm be, I'm beginning to sort slowly get into his camp, not giving a shit. You know. So what if Trump fucks this country up? How many more years do I have? You know, I I I don't I I could I couldn't care less. You know, I really shouldn't invest myself in any kind of uh, uh, thing with with Trump. That's what I say too. How many more years do I have left? I mean, yeah. I'm a cripple. You're a cri yeah. you're a cripple, and a damn good cripple, I might add. Thank you you don't walk better than just about anybody I know. I I and I got to work at that, so I appreciate yeah. noticing. Yeah, and we yeah, don't. But you you only have one of the three attributes of uh, of life. You're only crippled, not blind and crazy. That's true. Yeah, cataract taken care of. So you got a cataract? Yeah, I got a cataract in my in my right eye. Wow. Oh, well, that's very. Well, that has a Lincoln. Yeah, but that's very that's very simple to take care of. I I had both my I had cataracts in both. Was it cataracts? Yeah, cataracts mm. in both eyes, and I, I took did one, and then the other one got ripe, and they did the other, and it's very simple. Actually, you wind up having better eyesight after they do it. Yeah. You know, I they keep telling me mine is not ripe, and I keep telling them, "What do I got to do? Wait till I'm blind?" Yeah, you know? no. Well, just keep jerking off. Oh wait a minute, you can't do that. I can't do that. <laughs> That's, those days are over. You can't jerk off after you've had prostate operation. Well, there's not going to be any, uh, uh, you know, uh, yeah. seminal fluid. Or... Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, 
mine's pr practically gone. I practically dried up that way just because of age, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, uh, what, well, you know. No, I, 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 I see understand all these porn it's only good films. for pissing. I see all these porn films with those really messy uh, cum shots, and I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Hey, I, you know, I remember when I was 18, you know, 16. Yeah. But, I remember uh, when I could shoot those a load. are open. I hate to say this. I knew I, I, I had a time when I could shoot a load halfway across the room, you know. Yeah. Not anymore. I'm, you know. Now it takes me all night to do what I used to be able to do all night. Yes, Patrick. I'm still good there, even though I'm crippled. So, you know. Really? Well, yeah. Oh, okay. So, you see, he's Keep crippled. Keep bragging. He, he's crippled, <laughs> Phil, and he yeah. he doesn't have any problem that way. But, but I don't have cancer anymore. You know, it yeah. was a choice. <laughs> you know, you got cancer, then it goes to bone cancer, then it goes to everything else. Well, cancer. I may have prostate cancer, but it's the good kind. Yeah, the good kind. Yeah. yeah, I don't think there is a good kind. No, there is. I mean, this is yeah. the, it's like they did on the Kaminsky method. Uh, Danny DeVito says there's oh, yeah. the turtle and there's the rabbit. You've got the turtle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think that the reason they got crazy on me was uh, I got a, uh, uh, my PSA went up all of a sudden uh, to like 17. But uh, what I really had was um, prostatitis, uh, you know, and uh, I needed an antibiotic. And that brought it back down to 11. But the guy got scared, and he says, oh, we better book it. And, uh, you know, the rest is history. Yeah. But I don't have cancer. My guy goes, at my age, they just sit there, and they, it's watchful waiting is what he calls it, you know. Mm -hmm. And they give you some stuff. They give you, like, uh, hormones or something like that. Supposedly brings the PSA down. And, you know, uh, it, it, at my age, it probably isn't anything that's, you know, yeah. terrible. Well, I, I didn't want to take any chances that it was going to spread when they – did a, a CT scan and some other stuff on me to see if it had spread to the bone, mm -hmm. uh, and it didn't. I just said, you know, let's do it now. You yeah. Know, the, yeah. Yeah. Well, I would have yeah, gone for a second opinion, but, you know. Well, I, I, I looked down there, and I said, yeah, you better do it. No, I knew I had cancer. I mean, you know, what, what kind of second opinion? Uh, yeah. I talked to another uh, uh, urologist at Kaiser. Yeah. And uh, he was the one that actually, you know, I asked him, I said, there's different methods to deal with, deal with this. If it was your brother, what would you do? And he says, I'd have it taken out. By and the way, your, your, your things, prostate just brought us up two people. Oh. So, uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Well, at least something got up. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> mine's, gone, mine's gone up and it keeps going up. I, I don't know what's going to happen with the next test in about a month. But he says, don't you worry, let me worry. He says, we're just watching this whole thing. He says, we're keeping an eye on it, you know, and we'll, yeah. we'll make sure that it, uh, it doesn't get to a point where we c it isn't manageable. And there are a lot of different ways other than just having a prostate operation that That's can right. solve it. You know, yeah. there's radiation they do. They do the hormones. Uh, they do put... What radioactive seeds in there or something? Is uh, yeah, there? that's the Baki method. Didn't uh, Marjorie have a friend that had that done, and then the cancer came back uh, yeah, uh, with yeah. with a vengeance, yeah, and he the was, guy died. He was quite young. He was quite yeah. young when he got it. So, uh, but uh, uh, Rudy Giuliani had the seeds. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now David, uh, the guy that used to call from Czechoslovakia. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, he he had uh, a thing called proton therapy, yeah. but he was only yeah. 39, and uh, you know he said it went well, but uh, you know we haven't heard from him. We haven't heard from him lately. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. I mean, I, would, uh, I I got something on his um, on my birthday. He wished me happy birthday. Oh in really? February. So he's still around. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's good. That's terrific. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're up to 23 people. Keep talking about prostates. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, cancer's a good, uh, you know. <laughs> but um, I had a friend at uh, Sirius uh, who um, used to be the doorman at WMCA years ago, and he he did the he does the uh, the doctor channel. That they, uh -huh. they I can't remember where they do it. They do it over the hospital here in New York, and one of the guys over there, they gave him a test for uh, his PSA. And it went up. It was like up around nine, 
And so mm -hmm. they immediately did a biopsy and found he didn't have anything. Yeah, you can have a high PSA and not have cancer. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times it's just due to being enlarged. Well, the, the, either that or there's a thing called, there's a, there's a free PSA that he gave me that that combined told, uh, put, made them say that I have a 85% chance that I have cancer. Now, but that's mm. just uh, that's a computer throwing out that information based on the information he gets. Well, Doesn't, it's free. How, you know, the, the, it's it's only worth what you pay for. No, no, but it, it's. Uh, <laughs> it, but, it, but who knows? He, my doctor said, don't worry about it. He said, uh, you know, he said I see these things. He says I see these things go up and I see these things go down all the time. You know. Yeah. But let's talk about something else. We just went down to twenty-two people. No. So. Well, the person checked his cancer. You know, I used to do radio shows for, I don't know, 10,000, 20,000 people a morning. Why am I doing yeah. this fucking thing for 22 people? Um, it's, it's better than a CB radio station. You wouldn't get as far. You know. And then we got another bunch of people listening on the audio. Yeah. You know. Those are the people that can't afford a computer. Right. Right. So, anyway. You know, and even though I asked them to go away, they didn't. No, they didn't. More came. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, what the hell? Special. Yeah. Oh, well, we got about seven more, eight, eight more minutes. Eight more minutes. Yeah. Anything else in the news that we haven't uh, discussed? Uh, you know, hmm. there. You know, Is there another war going on, or what? Well, there are things going on all over the world. Like, for instance, Netanyahu. <laughs> Ah. is in trouble oh, yeah. in, in Israel, you know, because he... Well, he was short one vote. Yeah, but he he failed to put together a, a government. Right. And uh, when you is fail... This, this and is under, the first un, time they've un, had to have uh, elections again? Uh, under the parliamentary system, if you fail to put a government together, they hold yes. the election again. Yeah. And hopefully they'll boot that prick out. <laughs> oh, I just saw a headline. Uh, your favorite guy slaps tariffs on Mexico... Pressure to stop illegals. Hmm. That's a couple. Ooh, that, what about news, that news is a couple of miles yeah. old. He says. Well, no, I just a couple hours old. No, every time he puts tariffs on something, he doesn't. He, for somehow he doesn't understand how tariffs work. Yeah, we end up having to pay for we, it. The tariff is against us in the end, because well, they'll pay the. You know, they'll they'll uh, he he'll put the tariff on the item, and then mm -hmm. we will pay that tariff. Well, then they use that tariff money to build a wall. Oh. No, but I don't want to pay for the fucking wall. Then don't buy Mexican products. All I'm, I don't know if I am or I'm not, okay? <laughs> everything is made in Mexico. Look at your TV. Uh, everything. Uh, you know, cars. My you, TV car was made not in made in my, my... All the TVs in this house, I think, were made in Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, do, do they come with a ballistic missile? Yeah. <laughs> well, don't laugh at that, folks, because it wasn't funny. Yeah, well, yeah. But well, short range. Price of fruit's supposed to go up. Yeah. Price of, of fruit. fruit oh, every. Back. But we. How come we, you, We're going to wind up paying for it, Phil. I mean, like for instance, I need a new air conditioner. Uh, yeah. The price of China. air conditioner is going to go up about twenty-five percent because Get a of Korean the air tariffs. conditioner. Even if I buy, I think Korea, he's, ta he's, he's put the tariffs on everybody. He thinks tariffs is the way that the government is going to make money, but where they're making the money is off of you and me, not... You know, China goes, fuck you, okay, so he's charging a tariff. Yeah, I don't want to reprice my showroom, so what I've done is uh, all Chinese product, uh, we just have a line in the, in the contract that says 10% uh, uh, tariff. Uh, charge because I know that the price is going to go up seven to ten percent. So I had it's to. It's going up twenty five percent. Phil. No, no, no. It's going up fifteen percent more than the first one. So you take the first ten plus the fifteen, mm -hmm. and that equals twenty five. Yeah. But uh, the price that it goes up is on the cost. So the amount of money okay, that so the manufacturer think, is charging me, me is not as much. Let me ask you this question, Phil. How, is that going to hurt your business? It ain't going to help. But uh, and, I, and, I'll and you feature, still and you still like this guy. Yeah, and you know, but I'll feature. Then, I have a choice. Then you are one of the uh, stupidest people I, I know. To. You're one of the oh, stupidest but, people I know. 
Oh. Hey, look, the farmers like the guy, and they and they're getting hurt the worst. They're getting, yeah, they're getting crushed. You know, and and if you talk to these guys, they're saying, yeah, we don't like the tariffs, but you know oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, By the way, we like you, what he's have, doing. Have you seen them on television? I don't see them saying that. They're crying well, and saying you're we're watching the wrong station. Well, of course, we're, I'm not watching Hitler TV. <laughs> uh, Do you know that if Trump is not reelected, that MSNBC will go out of business? Yeah, that well, is there a, you know, you, there you, a, you can argue with me about MSNBC, but I'll probably agree with you. And so will Charlie that we're sick and yeah. tired of their kowtowing to us. Uh, and I'm sick of tuning it in. And all they're ever talking about is Trump, 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 Trump. <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, there is other news. And there are other things that are important to us. You know, yeah. they go, uh, they go. oh, yeah, and then there's the abortion thing in Missouri, and now back to talking about Trump. I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, I think the abortion <laughs> thing right now is maybe more important than anything Trump is doing or is worth talking about Trump about. Um, yeah. Yes, Tony. Do you think this is a good opportunity for a, a new news station to come up, come upon the scene, at least in America, where basically doesn't lean to either side and just gives the it news was, like it, it used to give? Well, there is like, one. There, yeah, there is one. Tune into BBC America. You'll see uh, great news over there uh, in which they tell you about the rest of the world on top of everything else, you know? I bet you there's going to be a new one called TNN, Trump News Network. Uh, no fine. fake news. He wanted to have the news network. Yeah, I wonder if he won the election. If he I, I think that's what he's setting him up, uh, setting himself up for. But he was going to hire Ailes, and the guy died on him. Oh. Yeah. Well, it, it, the point is that 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 uh, uh, we've got a real, you know, it, there it, there is more stuff to talk about. I mean, I I think, for instance, the the whole abortion thing is absolutely worth talking about because yeah. there's a bunch yeah. of old white men telling young white women fertile white women how they should run their lives no they're, they're telling black women because they want to cut down on a number of blacks that's what candace owens says <laughs> who's candace owens Some she's a pundit. black conservative black conservative oh. crazy lady <laughs> i don't think so Oh, we I think she's kind of good looking, we actually. Yeah. Uh, uh, Patrick's got his hand. Yes, up. Patrick. Thanks for brought that up. Um, what, what would the deal in Louisiana with the Democratic governor sign it? signed it. Yeah, the uh, Democratic senator, uh, uh, governor. Governor. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, there must be more people that think that it's not right to kill the unborn babies. They don't yeah. care about the unborn baby. None of these laws have anything to do with in vitro fertilization, which has all kinds of fertilized embryos being destroyed every day. They don't give a shit about that. So it ain't about the, the babies. Yeah. Uh, it's oh, about is that controlling what you're saying? women. Yeah. No. I mean, and, have and, you ever been able to control women? <laughs> Never wanted to. But the yeah. the point is, Phil, that that uh, you know, it's it's it, it, it. And on top of that, what really gets me is none of these people know science, and the way in which they're talking about it, you can tell they don't know anything about the science that's involved. I mean, say yes, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, You're all a bunch of round earthers. Wait a minute, uh, huh? Yeah, round earthers. Uh, um, uh, Flat earthers. Al. Al wants to say something. Al? They're all politicians. What do they know? Yeah, that's exactly, true. exactly. But I mean, uh, the fact is that they're, they're they, they 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 know nothing about science, and they're trying to make scientific decisions here. Heartbeat at six weeks? Is that a heartbeat? They don't know. How do you hear a heartbeat? And because you it's hear not a something, train whistle. Well, you know, you you can't hear a heartbeat. You know. It's not a no, they, they don't they detect it with a sonogram? No, you can't even see a baby in a sonogram at that age. Oh, yeah, wow. I've seen it. They uh, they give you a little uh, picture, and you, no, you that's see a little kid. That's, that's, six weeks, let's say. It, 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 that's sonogram. maybe at sixteen weeks. It's maybe at twenty weeks, but it's not at six weeks, Phil. 
Oops. Just a muscle spasm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, listen, we got to go. Blood. We got to go. This has been uh, just a really, uh, let's see here. Oh, we're up to Orange. 24 people. We should probably stay on. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, everybody's been on the panel. Josh, always great to have you here. Great to have your 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 intelligence. Uh, or, or as Phil would call it, your intelligence. Um, uh, Charlie, thank you so much. Uh, Phil, thank you. Thank you to the lovely and attractive Jeff and uh, Al. Thank you. Uh, and, and Tony, it's uh, wonderful to talk with you. And Patrick, and what I would want you all to do is do a big wave goodbye, and I will wave back. Okay? There we go. Okay, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizens panel. Let me Now let me unceremoniously dump them. Uh, so the next program, which is Jack Bishop and the... Uh, intersection can use our Skype line. Uh, I will uh, be back again tomorrow after Damien Chaplin does a little program called The uh, Exchange. That'll be at 9.30 Eastern Daylight Time. At 10 o'clock, I'll be back here. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.